This has got a rod, and this is first class requirement 4A. First class rank requirement 4A. Using a map and compass, complete an orienteering course that covers at least one mile and requires measuring the height and or width of a designated item, such as a tree, tower, canyon, ditch, etc. So the first thing that you need to do in order to complete this requirement is find an orienteering course. You can find those at a lot of city parks or county parks. Uh, call around and find out if your local park system has an orienteering course. If not, a lot of scout camps also have an orienteering course set up, uh, or you can possibly set one up yourself or get with another troop or maybe a troop in your district or council uh, to set one up. So, once you have an orienteering course, then using a map and a compass and the course map, uh, you're going to find the best way to go from station to station. These courses could be timed or scored for points. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that the courses can be set up. And so, sometimes going in a straight line to the next uh, station may not always be the best way to do it. So uh, think and figure out what is the best way to get from station to station. Uh, but if you need to review how to use a map and compass together, go back to the second class 3A video. All right, the next part of this is measuring the height of an, the unknown height of an object. Uh, and so one of the possible methods to do this is called the stick method. Uh, and so first you start by having a friend that you know their height uh, stand next to an object that you don't know the height of. And then you're going to stand far enough away that you can hold up the stick or pencil or whatever it is so that it's this by closing one of your eyes and looking through the other one, the pencil or stick appears to be the same height as your friend. Then you're going to see how many sticks tall the object is. So like in the example here, the let's say the friend is five foot tall and it takes five, one, two, three, four, sorry, four sticks to measure the top of the tree. So a five foot tall friend would mean that the tree is 20 feet tall because then you're going to multiply the five feet of the friend times the four sticks that it takes to measure the tree. And now you have a 20 foot tall tree. And the next thing is uh, measuring across an unknown distance. So the width of an unknown distance, like a stream or a, a river, or something like that, or a gulch. So you would start by standing on one side of the river or stream or whatever it is, and then locating a, a stationary object on the other side. So like this rock labeled A. So you're, now you're going to place a stick in the ground directly opposite of that rock that you're going to label B. No, you're not going to actually label the stick, but just put the stick in the ground. Right now, take a left turn, a 90 degree turn, and then walk approximately 20 steps or 10 paces and place the stick at wherever it is you end. Try to keep your, your paces even. In the example, it's 50 paces, but that's okay. You may not always have room for 50 paces. Then you're going to walk another 20 or 50, whatever you walked the first time, right? So you always want to keep your number of paces the same on both sides of that stick that's labeled C in this example. Right? And now you're going to put a, a third stick in the ground, and that is D. Okay, And so now you're going to uh, take a left turn, or another 90 degree turn, with the stream or ditch or whatever to your back. And now you're going to continue walking until you can line up your stick, your, your stick E that you're about to put in the ground. Line it up between directly straight from A to C to E, so that you can create a a straight line connecting all three of those points. Once you've done that, now you should be able to count the distance from E to D and determine the width of that stream or gulch or whatever it is. So it's using some basic geometry to create two triangles of the same size. Right? So it's, it's pretty, pretty basic geometry. All right, this has been Scout of Rob. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to get more great videos just like this one. Happy scouting.